After the SMA EV charger has been successfully installed and commissioned, it should be added to a new or existing system in the Sunny portal. Please ensure that a plant with a Sunny Home Manager 2.0 has already been created and configured. Now open Sunny Portal and log in with your installer credentials. Select the plant where the SMA EV charger should be added. Now go to Configuration and select the Device Overview. Now click on Overview of new devices. If the SMA EV charger has not yet been recognized as a new device, start the device search. Down here, add Refresh Devices. Now select the SMA EV charger and click on Add. An information about the system expansion appears. Since the SMA EV charger is not an exchange device, we can confirm this by clicking on Yes. Note that a device replacement is not possible for direct communication loads such as the SMA EV charger. How to deactivate the old device and how to add the new device to the system is described in the operating manual of the Sunny Home Manager 2.0. This might now really take some time, so we speed the process up for you. Now that the SMA EV charger has been successfully added as a PV system extension, please click on Load Overview and Planning. And click on the configuration symbol of the SMA EV charger. For changing the pre-configured settings, click on Edit. The priority of the load setting tells the Sunny Home Manager 2.0 in which order it should schedule the various devices in the system. The Sunny Home Manager 2.0 will switch on the devices sequentially based on this priority setting. So setting the SMA EV charger to high priority and a second device to low priority means the Sunny Home Manager 2.0 will only switch on this lower priority device once more power than the SMA EV charger can use is available. The optional energy demand setting tells the Sunny Home Manager 2.0 with which energy mix the SMA EV charger should run when in PV surplus charging mode, meaning how much PV power is at least required to start charging, say 75% and thus allowing up to 25% of the power being taken from the grid. This means that for the typical EV, which can start charging from 1.38 kW, now only requires about 1 kW of excess PV power to start charging. This can be very useful for smaller PV systems. Leaving the setting at 100% means that the full 1.38 kW of unused PV power must be available before charging begins. Just one more important hint. Moving the slider to the right into the surplus PV energy area, the SMA EV charger will only run once the, for example, 70% feed-in limit is reached. Once the desired setting has been reached, please click on Save. The integration of the SMA EV charger into the SMA Energy System Home has now been successfully completed. By choosing Load Balance and Control, the current status and charge history of the electric vehicle as well as the PV generation and the remaining consumption can be visualized. To ensure trouble-free operation, make sure that the Sunny Home Manager 2.0 has been completely and correctly configured in the Sunny portal, including string configuration, as well as the price of grid energy and value of PV feed-in. Your SMA EV charger is now ready and you can start using it with the SMA Energy app.